Hey guys, what's going on? James here. And in this video today, we're going to be talking about some interesting quotes and really just an interesting situation in general that happened recently with NFL Network's Mike Garofalo regarding Levante David. Now, this is a couple of days old, but I did want to give my thoughts on this. So, on, uh, I believe it was like maybe March 4th or March 5th, Mike Garofalo came out and said, hey, it's I'm getting the feeling, or I think, that Levante David will be leaving the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and playing elsewhere uh, in this upcoming free agency. A lot of people freaked out, and actually, Garofalo himself backtracked on his comments on March 5th, and I have some quotes to talk about here. It says, I would like a word with Bucks fans today, and one of those words is sorry. I actually went back yesterday and watched what I said on David, and I did not state it the way I wanted to. We did a segment where we ran down a bunch of Bucks free agents, and I got to Levante David. The point I was trying to make was, at some point, if you're going to keep all those guys that we were talking about, Shaq Barrett, Chris Godwin, that it's going to be tough to keep everybody, right? We got to David, and we were up against a break. I kind of rushed it, and I said, well, it's looking not great that he's going to come back, and I broke one of my cardinal rules of covering free agency, which is, if there is time before the start of free agency for the team that has the guy, don't rule that out. He then went on to say, The point I was trying to say is that there are going to be a lot of suitors for Levante David on the open market. I know the Browns have been mentioned as one of them. They're going to be in a line with a bunch of other teams if he gets to that point. The Bucks are not done making their push to re-sign Levante David. I do expect them to make a concerted effort at some point to make a push. It's the only team he's ever played for. He's also made a chunk of money, made $50 million on his last contract, track, so does he take a little bit less to stay in Tampa Bay? Bucks fans, I am not as pessimistic as yesterday. I've had some conversations. I am not as pessimistic. I think there is still a good chance that he returns to Tampa Bay. I'm doing a 180 on this one. Yes, I still believe there's a good chance that he comes back. So, this is very interesting. March 4th, Mike Garoppolo says, you know, in a kind of a rushed fashion, hey, it doesn't seem like Levante David might be coming back to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Trust me, I've been in situations like that before. I totally get it. Mistakes happen. The very next day, he says, listen, I've had some conversations. I think there is a good chance that he returns to Tampa Bay. So that's pretty good news. There have definitely been a lot of talks surrounding the you know, top guys on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers of priority re-signings. Guys like Chris Godwin, Shaq Barrett, Levante David, people giving a lot of different opinions as to whether or not those players will or will not return to the team. I've already given my thoughts about the Chris Godwin situation, especially given the reporting of Ian Rappaport. It seems like he's pretty much a lock to come back. Shaq Barrett, there's been definitely some 50-50 in regards as to whether or not people think he will or will not come back, but a big one that I was concerned about was Levante David. We hadn't heard anything about Levante David. A lot of people freaked out when Mike Garoppolo made this uh, report on March 4th saying, oh, it doesn't seem like he's going to be coming back, but now he's backtracked and in fact flipped his opinion on March 5th saying, uh, you know, not only am I backtracking what I said, but I'm going to flip it and say that it, it it definitely seems like he has a good chance of coming back, which is great news for Bucks fans. I do have another video that I'm going to be making here very shortly talking about way uh, one way they might be able to free up some money here very soon regarding uh, some restructures with some of their contracts, but right now as it stands, at least according to Mike Garofalo, uh, he had originally said, ah, it doesn't seem like Levante David might come back, and he has since uh, flipped that around and said there's a good chance he will come back. So this is, this, uh, is going to be one to keep an eye on. Will Levante David take a little bit less? I have him pegged around making uh, $13 million, but I will say this, um, it is good hearing some positive news in regards to Levante David coming back. I know people were freaking out before, but now there's a little bit of relief there. Garofalo is uh, flipping his script now and saying, hey, it's a good chance he comes back. So we will just have to wait and see as with all of these re-signings and whatnot, what is going to happen. But keep an eye on this one. It seems like things are progressing very well in regards to Levante David returning to the Tampa Bay 
Buccaneers. But guys, I thank you so much for watching this quick little information update video. Give me your thoughts about Mike Garoppolo's comments and the thought and idea of Levante David coming back down in the comment section below. Do you think it should or should not happen? Uh, do you think it will or will not happen? Give me your reasons as to why or why not you think this should or will happen. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. Now we'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.